Having trouble installing Kali Linux on your phone or want a fresh install? You're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you how to install Kali Linux step-by-step, error-free, and without root access. Let's get started. First, download Termux and Nethunder KX from the links in the video description. Open Termux. To update the repositories, type update. After updating, install the Wiga tool by typing apt install get. When prompted, press Y and hit enter. Next, copy and paste the URL of the Nethener installation script from the video description. Then press enter to download it. To confirm the download, type ls to list the files in the directory. Before running the script, you need to make it executable. Type chmod plus x followed by the script's name. After making it executable, launch the script by typing dot forward slash followed by the script's name. Make sure to download the full package. If you don't, you may encounter an error in the graphical interface. When prompted, press 1 and hit enter to proceed. It will start downloading libraries from the Kali repository. When you see the download interface, press Ctrl plus X to stop it. We will manually download the root file system to avoid errors. Before manually downloading the roots, delete any previous version by typing rm-rf followed by the file name. I will provide several mirrors for the root file in the video description. Choose one and make sure it's downloaded into the same directory where the installer script is saved, otherwise it will not work. Alternatively, you can download the roots file outside of Termux, then copy it into the Termux directory. I will cover this method later in the video. If you encounter an error, follow the steps in the linked article to resolve it. However, the error did not occur in my case. Once the roots is successfully downloaded, relaunch the installer script. Enter 1 to download full package. It should detect the manually downloaded roots. When asked, press N to avoid deleting it and continue. Press N again when prompted to confirm. Now that the NetHunter interface is ready, you can launch it by typing NH. You will be able to use most of Kali Linux's tools within Termux. However, make sure to update the system by typing apt update. It is important to update after installing any Linux distribution. Even if your device is not rooted, you can run it with root privileges by using nh-s. Let's check if sudo is working by installing a simple tool like Caprix. Once you've confirmed that sudo works, exit Termux. To run the graphical user interface, type nhkex. You will be prompted to create a password. Note that the password will not be visible as you type. Type n, we don't want it as view only. If this error occurs, we'll fix later in video. After setting your password, remember the RIF port number provided. Open the Nethunder KX app. Click the plus icon. Enter your port number and password, then save the configuration. Click the window to launch the Kali Linux interface. Congratulations, Kali Linux is now running. Keep in mind that this is an ARM-based version of Kali Linux. It includes fewer tools than the full desktop version. However, it is still very usable. Let's check some tools like the MS console from Metasploit. If you are not familiar with Metasploit, there's much more to learn about Kali Linux. Yeah, MSF console is working. MISC console is the command line interface for Metasploit, used to launch and manage penetration testing exploits, payloads, and auxiliary modules. Installation done? You may leave this video. Let's fix this error. Go to your device's settings, enable developer options. Tap several times on build number from about pwn. You can find it in system settings. Now from developer options enable wireless debugging and copy the IP address port number and pairing code displayed.
I'm splitting my window for better view. Return to Termux. Inside Termux install the Android ADB tools using apt install Android tools. Then, use the command add pair followed by your IP and port number. And enter the pairing code. Once paired, connect to the same IP and... As you can see, paired successfully now, let's connect it. Using ADB connect followed by same IP and port number. If the port number changes, just check the new one and reconnect. After successfully connecting, copy and paste the command provided in the video description, and you are all set. You can now fully use the graphical interface of Kali Linux. If wireless debugging doesn't work, download the Bugjagger app from the Play Store. Connect your phone with another phone using an aux cable. Run the same commands through ADB. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hit like button if you really like this video.